Meantime, the Washington Post today publishing transcripts, grammatical errors and all, from President Trump's January phone calls with the President of Mexico and the Prime Minister of Australia. In one call, Mr. Trump urges his Mexican counterpart to stop saying that Mexico won't pay for the U.S. border wall. The Washington Post published what it says are exclusive transcripts of President Trump's January 27th phone call to Mexican President Enrique Peña Nieto, President Trump telling his Mexican counterpart, I have to have Mexico pay for the wall. I have to. I have been talking about it for a two-year period. Peña Nieto has repeatedly refused to foot the bill. Mexico no pagará ningún muro. President Trump telling the president, whom he called simply Enrique, that he can no longer say that to the press. If you're going to say that Mexico is not going to pay for the wall, then I do not want to meet with you guys anymore because I cannot live with that. Greg Miller is a reporter from the Washington Post. His overriding concern in these conversations is the Trump brand, how any of these issues reflects on him personally. In that same call, President Trump blamed Mexico for New Hampshire's drug problem, calling that state a, quote, drug-infested den. New Hampshire Senator Maggie Hassan said President Trump should apologize to her constituents. What did you think when you first read those words? That the words were disgusting and outrageous and that the president should stop insulting people and actually start focusing on how we can beat this epidemic. Mr. President, Mr. New Hampshire, a drug infested them. The president did not respond to a reporter's question about it. Into those transcripts of his call to the Australian Prime Minister, Mr. Trump called an immigration agreement with the country, quote, a stupid deal that would make him look terrible. Look for much more on all of the latest developments today from the White House tonight on the CBS Evening News. That's at 6.30 after this broadcast.